On a normal day, it is, it's just very loud. It's, uh, it's crowded. It's exciting. It's thrilling. There are people on the other side of the spectrum that absolutely love that. But we have a population that really also deserves to say, I want a fun day. And, um, but I can't handle all that. This is an experiment to see if we can show that there are enough people that would love to come here if they could turn the sound off and the music. Here you go, woo! It's so great watching her have fun. My name is Wendy. My name is Addie. Uh, we live in Louisville, Colorado. Yeah. And we decided uh, to come to the low sensory morning at Elitch's to have some fun. Have some F-U-N. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very nice recognition that some of our kiddos just need a little bit of adaptation to enjoy the park the way that neurotypical kids can. This is his first chance of going to an amusement park. Um, just sensory-wise, he's never been able to. It's very emotional for yeah. us, probably, because it's just, it's never, you know, we never thought he would be able to do this before. You know, one community at a time, we want to model something that's sustainable and, and, and very manageable. It's an attainable goal, and so we're excited to, to have this day. It's a big deal. Are you dizzy? <laughs> Can I have a hug? <laughs> the low sensory morning was thanks to a partnership between the park and the nonprofit Project Peace program. Project Peace says this is the first time Elitch Gardens opened early for their event. How it's a wonderful. brilliant idea. A little kindness, you know? Yeah. A little kindness, a little accommodation for folks. Yeah, that special day. Mm -hmm. Very cool.